I, it's true that over the course of my life, I've heard many different takes on West Side Story music and, and different uh, interpretations and versions. Uh, when I heard Bobby's version, my head pretty much exploded because it, it was really the most ambitious reimagining of the music that I had ever heard. And the sheer force of it, because there are so many members of the orchestra and so much percussion and so much forward motion, I, I just I was overwhelmed. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever heard and I was only sorry that my dad wasn't there to hear it too. Well, the one thing about Maestro Bernstein's music in West Side Story is that, that it has a lot, a lot of kinetic energy and obviously it lends itself to movement, to dance, etc. But now we're even adding more colors to it and heightening the tension, the excitement, the drama, and of course, with the new rhythms that we've added, it's even more exciting than, than before. Well, my dad was very open-minded and open-hearted about reinterpreting his music. I think he would love the way Bobby sort of ratcheted the whole thing up to express his own emotions about the world we all live in today. And if my father were living today, I can only imagine that he'd be sort of apoplectic and would be only too thrilled to hear his music expressing, you know, today's version of the themes that we hear in West Side Story. Maestro Bernstein, he knew Tito Puente personally, Machito, Tito Rodriguez. So he was intimately involved with that music and that culture. But today what I've done in this new reimagining is added rhythms that are native to Puerto Rico from the bomba tradition like Yuban and Sica. And we have rhythms from Venezuela like the Joropo. And of course we have Afro-Cuban rhythms like the Mambo and the Cha Cha Cha, but we also have Guaguancó from the Rumba tradition. We have Brazilian rhythms in this new reimagining. We have funk, New Orleans second line. R&B, it's all that in a bag of chips like we would say in the Bronx. In terms of the proceeds from the recording, part of them are going to be going to a special relief fund for Puerto Rico and uh, par particularly the musicians on the island who have been devastated in terms of there's no work for them and many of them lost their homes, they lost their instruments, recording equipment, etc, etc. We had already done a benefit for the musicians in Puerto Rico few months ago, so this is in continuation of, of that. So uh, I'm really happy about that. And of course, your father's love for Puerto Rico and all things Latino, it's in keeping with his humanitarian spirit. It sure is. He would be so honored if he knew that you were dedicated your record and its proceeds to helping the island pull itself back together, that I'm sure if he were around, he would be doing exactly the same thing. And it really <laughs> does seem as if we still need to remind everyone of that lyric from West Side Story, nobody knows in America, Puerto Rico's in America. Right, exactly, exactly. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, thank you.